We were notified earlier meeting about our conflict of interest form seem to be in by July 1st. Just, just a reminder. Yes. I've got one from Damon. I got one from Bill this morning. So anybody that's going to have any kind of contract or business that deals with the county, just make sure you turn them in so I have them on file. CF1 compliance forms for 2012. Mm -hmm. You got a report like you did last year. Um, we spoke before the meeting a little bit so I could explain. Um, off to the right hand side, the SB1 stands for Statement of Benefit Form 1. And that's what the business has told you as a council when you approve their abatement. Um, what, how many employees they were going to have and the potential salaries they were going to pay them. And then the CF1 for the year that's on there is actual number of people at their business and the salary that was paid at that time. Um, the grayish area is the amount of assessed value that we're deducting from them in the year that, how many years they have left, if it's a 5, 10, 6 year abatement. And then they're alphabetical after that. Um, the two people that we've taken off was the steel plant that never got completed. Um, Auto Leave was off, but of course, you know, USSI underwater sensor took over that building, so we started it again. If that looks funny to you, um, two people hadn't turned their CF ones in on time, and that was Apple Tree Venture, which is the distributing company out in uh, Park 30. Um, mainly because there was new personnel at the office and they were unaware of what they needed to do. And the other business is the new South Whitley Stan Reef, or Steve Reef business for the paint, coating, power, whatever. And I'm still working with Stan Reef. That's kind of a phase in thing where they're going to have a certain portion of the building completed and then completed again. Mm -hmm. Jim, I think he pronounces his name right. Right? Right. Yeah, okay. there you go. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I don't Sorry. know where the division is. <laughs> I didn't think that. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah. I have spoken. Jim's reef, too. though, right? Yeah. 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 English, English <laughs> is reef. German is right. Thank you. German German pronunciation is right. 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 English. My wife comes from down south of Bluffton. There's a town down there called Reefsburger Reifberg. Depending on whether you live here or there, <laughs> you're <at> right. <laughs> <laughs> They've been very nice, so we're still working with the right people at South Whitley. So I didn't see any that should not be, and instead of passing them around and looking at them, if there's any that you want to particularly see, either personal property or real estate, they're alphabetical here in the um, folders, and then they're decided, divided then by a county alphabetical, and the ones approved by the city council, um, whether it's South Whitley, Busco, or whoever are also in there that you guys do not have to take care of. So if you have any questions about one, I'll pull it out for you. Looks like there's a pretty long compliance employee, which is big to me. Jennifer, is there any place that we can see a total figure that these businesses are saving in taxes per year? Saving? Um, that would be the annual publication that we put in the post in mail that were required by the state. I don't have that with me, but I could get it for you. Well, I don't, but I just wanted if there is a figure. Mm -hmm. that, uh, we are obligated as a county, Whitley County, to tell the taxpayers by allowing you guys, council, allowing these abatements, that's how much assessed value was not paid. And that has to be done annually. So whatever you approve here will be advertised at the end of the year before we bill them next year. Well, I don't think that figure ought to, ought to be, might as well, maybe it hadn't ought to be made, but I think it should be it, it advertised. Has to be. Yeah, it is advertised. It's, it's required by law. Because That's we're true. really helping these businesses by this many dollars, the people of Willie County are. I think we need to start doing like some of the other communities are doing, scrutinize these a little closer, not just automatically, just to prove 10 years all the time. Right, yeah, I, think some are, I think some warrant 10 years without question, but I think we need to look at wages, number of employees, and some other factors, and, and maybe we just don't just automatically just give 10 years all the time. I was, I was wondering, in my own mind, 
is it possible to give them a five year abatement and then yeah. an, and then give them another five year if they do a move on? You can't can do you, that. You can't do that, can you, Bill? I don't think so. But now you can do this plan. I think you can. If they grow, you can, you know they become yeah. a right, vital part of the community. You can just give them ten on something something else sometime. Yeah. Once yeah, they get established, and you see if they're yeah, going to be a they, viable business. The growing business comes in for more than one tax abatement. Right. You want to start with, and then they add on. You can take a look at that. But yeah. I mean, you know, I just think we just automatically just do that, and, and not that it hasn't been a good tool, but I, I think we maybe owe it to the taxpayers to just kind of scrutinize that just a little closer and determine something maybe uh, less than ten years on some of. Because yeah. yeah. five years is an option, so why wouldn't we take yeah. advantage of that option? Well, I've thought that for a long time, but then also other places will give them a ten year. Right, we want to stay competitive, no doubt. Yeah. But yeah. And the dynamic, the dynamic. Schedule's the same. It's not the same. Like a five year abatement starts at one hundred percent the first year, but then it goes to seventy five, and then yeah, it just goes a lot quicker. Where the other one well, goes one hundred. It's the same amount that's abated, abated only five years. No. It's percentage-wise. It's on a different percentage schedule. Oh, sure. But there's seven years, ten years, three years. There's any number of years you guys yeah. can work with. Things are just so it. dynamic, though, anymore that you just about ten years to stretch it out with quite a way through. Yeah, and it's a lot to give that person, and then seven years, we're seven years into giving them, and they default, then we've done nothing Early. for ourselves. Yeah, well, that's we only had, we only had two of those that I'm aware of. One of them was uh, out of the who got their abatement and left before they got through it on the internet. Wasn't Magnavox, I think, uh, did the same thing. I mean, I, the, the, steel, the steel one that you, they put yeah. up those beams and stuff and well, we gave it. But we ended it. Yeah, you ended it. They never got anything abated, did they? Yes, they did, the first year. The first year? But we didn't continue to give them something. In other words, if they don't live up what they said they're going to do, they're going to lose it. Right. right. That's why they come every year at this yeah. time to tell you what they're doing. And you have the option right then to. The other thing is that we don't really give them anything. That's we true. We just to collect. Uh, and there's a difference. Right. A lot of people don't understand. Spending taxpayers' money right. to do that. Right. There was never anything there before this abatement. But they do have services that the county pays out. That's true. Right? Yeah. That we, we don't collect anything for our tours. But John has a lot of signings, so I think he needs to make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> so we need a motion for compliance forms. Mm -hmm. <coughs> also move that we second. Any additional discussion? Those in favor, signify by your right hand. Those opposed, the same. Meeting schedule for 2013 budget. Um, I just gave you a copy of what was sent down from state on the guidelines of when you guys would have to meet. Um, it was the May 21st, and I highlighted exactly when it had to be. All I'm asking the council this year is when we have a meeting for the county, that we coordinate that with your binding review for um, solid waste. So every time we have a hearing to adopt, we do start in the meeting with the meeting for solid waste so we don't have additional non-needed meetings. That's all I'm requesting at this time. We'll which, put them on the schedule. Yes. We, we don't want to have additional meetings either. Right. So every time we have a meeting to have a hearing, and I'm going to run their advertisements in the paper on the same schedule as the county. So we'll have to open the meeting, see if anyone objects to it, close the meeting, which takes two seconds. But it saves calling you guys all back in to get a forum, which you know what happened last year. So Make him aware. Yeah. And he was. He's all for it. He was happy about it. He said you will be remembered. If you started to make up, who would you say when we're going to start? I was going to say. Any suggestions on when we want to start our meetings? Well, sometime after our next, what is the Easy. last part of July? I have the package for the form ones out to the department heads. Um, all I need from you guys is for you to bring your books back up. When I get the form ones back in from the department heads, I will remake your blue books for you. Mine's down here. Mine's in the Okay. 
I think somebody else is just there. Oh, they're, they're all there. there. Probably all there. They're all there. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, I think, uh, I'd like, personally like to see like about the middle of July. Well, okay. As long as it's not when the fair is on. No. So our council meeting is on the 3rd. On the, what is the fair? It's Tuesday the 3rd. So we're looking at... I think is, is, there, is there a day that I works better? 13th through the through the uh, 19th, I think, is the fair. Oh, okay. I have it on my calendar. 4-H fair starts on the 13th and it ends on the 19th. Last year you guys started it on the Wednesday after your normal meeting. I think it was like the 12th or the 13th of July. It was your first meeting that I gave you your books and you started to talk and then you rescheduled your department heads shortly after that. Oh. The first, when we got the books, we didn't have, that was a different day than the, when the department heads came. Oh, yeah, out. you got your books first, then we you spoke, it. and then you called in the department heads. <coughs> well, we get our books on the third. I always thought we got the department heads right, right away, but we didn't. Well, I think we do, too. I think yeah. it maybe on the well, 10th. That's what we I guess I thought when we got our books that day, that's the day we'd meet with them. Right? Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Or over the yeah, I'd like to look over the book. Yeah, but they have to have to be in there. That's right. They have to have it submitted, but they don't have to come to us. But. I asked for them to have their information back by June 29th. Won't we meet Jennifer? Would we have our books that you can hand out at our meeting? On the third? third. Or not? Would that be pushing you? Cool. That would give me a day with well, the commissioners. Why don't you, why don't you just do it this <laughs> way? Why don't you just say uh, the books will be available in the office for you to pick up? You tell them we'll pick them up, and then we don't have to have a meeting just to hand out the books. Okay. I'll have them done the week of July 4th. Well, then, I mean, I don't know if they have to be done that way. schedule a meeting with the department heads now? That's what. That's what I'm thinking. What, was you going to wait and do that after the fair, or was you going to try to do that before with the department heads? We did it Wednesday after the. We had after department July heads then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. July 12th or 13th was your meeting with the department heads last year. So we're looking at 10th or 11th or 17th or 18th, and that would be the fair time, 17th and 18th. So it's either got to be this week or down here. You're right. It's the week of 19th and 11th. Yeah, good right. day. No, we don't have to adopt the budget anymore by the 1st of September. We don't have to start that process anymore. Yeah. That already do it. Okay, your schedule is what I gave you. So we're looking at Tuesday or Wednesday. Which day works out the best, the 10th or the 11th? Either. The 10th is my birthday, so that'd be extra. You, you <laughs> might. You might. Tuesday the 10th, starting at 8. Fight. Work for everybody. Do you want me to? I will use the same schedule I have last week, and I will let the department heads know. Seems like we just got done. <laughs> Doesn't it? <though>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks like we're down to the final commissioner's report. 